So in this video I want to show you how you can keep one module locked until students complete a preliminary module. In my case I want my students to complete the orientation before they get access to module one, our intro module. And that's how this is set up right now. We're looking at student view, um, which is going to be really handy to you as you set up these requirements and prerequisites. So I encourage you to take advantage of student view. So here's how it looks in student view. Um, I go through my orientation overview. Let's say this is my first page of the orientation that I've required my students to take. As they move through the pages of this orientation, let me go back to home, they get check marks for the pages for the, the steps that they've completed. So they've viewed those three pages and those three steps are complete. Notice we still don't have access to anything in module one. I can't get access to the pages. I also don't have access to the assignment, the discussion, or the quiz in module one. These are not clickable hyperlinks. Nor can I access them through the, link, the tool links in the course navigation menu. So there's no link to that week, the module one discussion, the assignment. I can go to assignment two, but it tells me this assignment is part of module one and hasn't been unlocked yet. So it lists the prerequisites that I need to complete. There's a quiz in that second module as well. Again, it's part of this and hasn't been unlocked yet. So the students can't sneak into those activities from the course navigation menu without first completing the requirements that you've set up. So let me go through, and I've done this a few times, so you'll see some other postings from test students. So I finished my discussion board post. I'm going to take my survey. And I'm going to submit my assignment. Let me go back. Oh, yeah, the next thing is my assignment. Let me submit that. Ba, 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 ba. Submit assignment. And I think that's the last thing. You know, I've got one more page to view. Actually, let's go to the home and let's see if it's been tracking my, yep, it's been tracking my completion of those. I still have one more page that I need to view. Notice I hover my mouse over that and it tells me I must view the page. These things are still not unlocked, but let's go in there and open that page. Ta-da, wonderful. Now let's go back home. And sure enough, these are now unlocked and I can get to these assignments, get to these things. Okay, so here's how you set that up over in uh, as a teacher. Let me leave student view and then we'll go check this out. Okay, there's two steps to this in as a teacher of your course. You first have to define what is complete, right? So you're saying don't open up module one until orientation is complete. That's what I'm saying in my case. So what is orientation complete mean? They have to view four pages. They have to view five pages, actually. They have to submit the discussion, submit the survey, and submit the assignment. Maybe in your case, they just have to submit a discussion at the end of the module. Or maybe they have to submit a survey or, or an assignment. Whatever it's going to be, the place that you define those is in this little drop-down menu, and you have edit. Here's where you're going to add requirements. So students must complete all of these requirements. And you'll notice that the drop-down list that you see here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, has seven items all that correspond to the seven items in that module. So I'm going to go through, they have to view the orientation overview page. Then I'm going to add another requirement. They have to view the settings page. They have to view the getting to know you. Now notice over here, I could say they have to mark it as done. So they have to take action and actually check a box that says that they've read it. Contribute to the page. So maybe it's a wiki page that they have to go in and add something to. So those are also, also options. The final page that I have them look at is that overview page. But those are just the pages. And notice the order doesn't matter. I have them do an icebreaker discussion. And for the icebreaker discussion, they have to submit the assignment. For the About Me survey, they have to submit the assignment. And for the assignment number one, they have to submit the assignment. So there's the four, five, six, seven things that, that they're required to do, and that they must complete all of them. I don't care if it's in sequential order or not, so I'm going to keep that one unchecked. Um, but I will. They, ha they do have to complete all of those items. Hit Update. And now I see complete all items and it gives them, it gives me the little indication of what is complete here. That's only half of the setup. The other setup is, okay, now once they've completed this, right, 
you have to set up module one to have that as a prereq. So there's my module one. In my edit drop down list for module one, I'm going to add a prerequisite. Add pre prereq, and in my drop down menu, there's the orientation. I've already defined what completing the orientation is. Once those items have been completed, it should update, or it should open module one. Okay, so the two steps are going into your preliminary module, in my case, my orientation, and setting requirements. That's in your edit menu. Then going into your subsequent module, in my case, module one, and setting a prereq. And that's also in edit. Thanks for watching, and I hope that helps.